Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can make this avatar. A quick little tutorial, I'm not a fucking genius in Unity, but I'm going to tell you what I know. So stay tuned. Okay, roll it. Hello everybody and welcome back, it's me Kuro and today I'm gonna show you how I get a Nep Hyper Dimension Neptunia models to work in the VR chat. I'm not a Unity Pro or anything like that, I'm just gonna show you what I know and yeah that's about it, what you need to do. You need VR chat obviously, but if you scroll down from their page you'll see the SDK and you're gonna download that, well you know, it's log in and just download it. You'll need to download Unity, well you can download Unity first I guess but it needs to, to be this patch 5.6. Okay you, you get it, you can see it. Just google this and you'll find it first result. This is the version you need. Dynamic bones for your character like the hair and stuff. You can find it on the Unity like store page or whatever and yeah don't ask me how to get it for free because you'll have to google that stuff yourself and then we got the models that these models here from the models resource modelsresource.com um, they have uh, like the best Neptune models at least they have a bunch of models their models work pretty fucking great though something you might want in case you're getting like the Neptune characters is that a tune shader it's even free and uh, yeah it makes it pop out a little bit more and give it that cool outline and stuff so here we are I got the map folder thing and uh, first off we're gonna take the SDK we downloaded from the VR chat I was gonna, just gonna put it in there, in the assets folder, simple and easy. And uh, yeah, we just gonna, just gonna put it all in there. And then it asks us, oh, do you want to do this? I mean, yes, yes, import it. Now this is gonna take a while, so yeah. <laughs> okay, we got everything we need. We got the VR chat SDK dynamic bones in case you you want some dynamic bones and cube unity shaders cubes yeah that's the version version I use and you take the whole map and drag it into the assets folder because people might make mistakes like that oh dot uh, fbx I'm gonna use that well you need to have like all the textures and yeah, and all the other files too. Okay, Neptune Idol. I'm just gonna... Okay, now it's easier for you guys to see too. So let's take... Press the little arrow here. And you... Yeah, you just press this. And you go up here. It might look like this to you guys. But... There's a little tab that says Inspector. Press there. And then this pops up rig and there's animation type you take humanoid configuration and apply these characters is already like set as you can see here is all green you got it all working out for itself you know but you can see here upper chest we need to remove the upper chest none and the spine, chest, and spine one, and we need to change it to spine two. There we go. That should be all ready. <clears throat> and now we take our character and drag it to like our little library thing up here. And uh, people might ask how, how do you get the bones and stuff so the thing we gotta do now inspector as you can see 
it should be there. Just click on I, I, I do, Neptuna at all and add components. And uh, if you want to create an avatar, just avatar, avatar or something, just yeah, <clears throat> the VRC avatar descriptor. Yes, yeah, take the descriptor. And we, we can wait but for this for a while. We can wait. But as you can see, you see this ball here? This is where your head is. So if you ever try to make a character and like, oh my god, I'm floating on top of my character. This is why. Because you really need to get it lined up. So okay, let's see here. The view position. There's X, Y, and Z. You, X is like not important and so let's see right now it's 1.6 as you can see it goes down when I take it away to 6 and I put down a 3 and it's perfect it's like perfect I wasn't even trying and then the C axis just take 0 so it's inside her head and the pipeline manager thing just let it be there Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add the bones. So just if you have the man damn, if you have the dynamic bones, you could. I don't really know how the collider works, and you don't really need it anyway. So okay, you got one dynamic bone component. So the thing you're gonna do is go to root, and it says none transform. You gotta click that. And then this shows up. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna change the character a bit so it's easier to see what I'm doing. Okay, so I know for a fact that um, Neptune has a little bit of um, hair bones um, right at her shoulders and and stuff like that. So if you see hair, F hair one, that's like a front hair. Sometimes you can see this thing here, the little line there. It will like show you where the like bones are. So you you can't see the second one, but I guess it has some purpose, you know. I I usually make like a dynamic bone for that too. So let's just front hair one. Okay, now we got that, and then you have to fool around with the damping. And uh, less elastic, 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 the, the, the shit. Ah, you can fucking read stiffness and all that. I gotta use it by default, <clears throat> the default settings. It works pretty good. Like, the higher you go, the more stiff it will get, you know. So, what the fuck are you doing? Get out of here. For the sake of showing you guys, I'm not gonna touch any of these. So if you follow my tutorial sort of to a hundred percent or something, it should turn out exactly like my character will, you know. So let's add some more dynamic bones. Let's find let's take the hair too. I don't know what it is. It says I can't see it on the model. But we can take it anyway. By the way, if you close the tabs, any bone tab you can see it will disappear it will get hidden so don't freak out if you can't see like the lines and all that so let's just add some more bones yes what are we gotta do we gotta find some more hair okay there it is there's her other <laughs> I was about to say ponytail but it's not a ponytail it's her I don't know as you can see here this is Left hair one, two, and three. Left hair one is the whole thing. If you take the two, it doesn't take the whole thing. And at three, it probably has the tips or something. So I usually take the first one, you know, the longest possible line you can get, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that, that's pretty much the bones. Now we got the bones ready, and we got an avatar description. descriptor ready so what are we gonna do now I'm gonna put on some uh, some nice nice uh, shaders on this so if we go here just click on this little tab thing on the Neptune idol 
you press the Neptune idol underneath it and then, you, and then this material thing shows up so now you have your shaders as standard I use Cubex I don't know if it is the same as I said before uh, tune tune shaders but with this you take flat tune and it looks a lot better it's a lot like brighter and all that look it's beautiful but something I usually do if you have cubics uh, cube cube paradox or whatever I usually go to unit shadowed and then I go back to the flat flat lit tune and it gives you this outline it might be hard to see here I'm gonna do it on all the components unit shadowed flat tune that's how you get those cool, you know, cartoonish outlines on your character. She's regular sized. And if you want her to be shorter, you know, hey, I want my character to be shorter and cuter. Well, you see these hair. You click on your character. And you, this is just movement. You can, you know. But we don't want that. So you press R. You have her selected, press R these cubes show up instead just do this because it usually doesn't work if you don't deselect her and select her again and just drag this blue green no you see okay so that's funny you can even do this you know some people with flat characters just make it flat if you want to have a flat character could be funny but you're just supposed to take this cube in the middle and you drag it down now we have a tiny nap as you can see here it doesn't do anything they select it select it again and we can make it bigger you have to reposition these the the eyes thing is if you're gonna but you should make it the size you want at first before you do this, just to make it easier on yourself. This looks kinda good. We could make it like that. And then we just take zero on C axis. There you have it. Now you go to VR Chat SDK and show petrol control panel. And it says Hey, your avatar is short. Yeah, well, I want it to be short. That is the point. It's, it's cuter that way. So, okay, let's take build and publish. So, this is the assets folder. Just save it right here. I'm gonna name it uh, Nep Idle and save. And it's gonna do its thing. And when it's done loading, you'll get this. This is like, oh, create your own character. You know, name it and all that. You might wonder, hey, why, why, why does it look like this? What, what's up with this? Well, I'm gonna show you how to e edit that. I don't really care about that image. It's not important to me. Nap idle. Uh, you can put a description if you like. Check this box and upload. And it, yeah, it's gonna take, <laughs> take some more time. Okay, and when it's done, this will pop up. Update complete. Launch VR chat to see your uploaded content. Well, yeah. The thing you kind of do now is just open the game and see how it turned out. You know the camera about how the character looks? You want to change that. You go here, you see here on the side, take main camera and you press, you press E, you can rotate it. You're just going to rotate it like this and then you press W and you get this. So you can just as you can see in the corner, it's a preview. You can just... I guess this looks a bit better than that one. And there. Not much more you have to do. Oh, this is how it turned out. Looks pretty good. I didn't put anything in the chest. Because I think if you want to have a cool chest, bouncy teeth and all that, you need to use uh, the bone collider. And I don't really know how to use it, so yeah, well, 
this is the finished product. If you use the Neptune models, it's the easiest pie. Well, please don't ask me to make a Blender tutorial because I have no idea how to do that stuff. I hope this helped you and I hope you get some insights in, in how this modeling thing works. Why? Why? It really turned out pretty good actually. I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.